All right, guys, we're here for a quick test. It's super windy. I'd say 25, close to 30 miles an hour wind. So it's not the perfect condition. So excuse the wind. Uh, you can see the trees behind me. It wouldn't surprise me if this camera here tipped over. All right, let's go. Air mode. All right. Guys, I can tell you right now, it's significantly better than what it was a few days ago. I can tell you that. I haven't had a glitch yet. Not saying that I want a glitch. I gotta fix this vibration. But look at this, it's actually working. It's actually freaking working. It's actually working. And this is in the lowest power output. Haven't had a glitch yet, guys. I said, I'm not asking for it. Let's go over here. Over here usually has some, some breakup. Dude, this is good. This is good. Ah, forget the vibration, guys. Ignore the vibration. This is good. And this is 720 at 60 frames per second. Let's see how responsive it is. It feels good. The image isn't clear, like crystal clear, but I'm probably on the lower bit rate. But guys, look at the breeze. It's crazy how breezy it is. I haven't had a breakup yet, guys. This feels pretty good. This feels a lot better. And this is the lowest power setting, I think. This feels a lot better. There's some... Feels a lot better. This feels amazing. This kid's playing. Oh man, this feels good. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this to 1080p because that's why we're here. Not a single breakup so far. Camera angle changed. Let's change the resolution quickly. It's under video, but I want to see camera. That's fine. All right, let's go to video. We're gonna go to resolution. We're gonna go 1080p. It's changing it. Look at the image, it changed immediately. So it's gonna um, it's gonna reboot, and there it is, 1080p at 60. All right, I'm gonna change the camera angle again. All right, let's see how this one does, 1080p. I'm excited about this one here. There we go. Yeah. Is it better? I can't tell, man. Yeah, it looks. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I know what's happening too. I had it set to performance, meaning I had the uh, pre-select optimized for performance. So let's land it. And let's change that to image quality. And uh, profile, high performance. I want higher quality. So we're gonna go right here. It's gonna update. 
All right, now let's go up to 1080p. See if that changes anything. Yeah, that looks significantly better. All right. Now we're talking. Still no breakup. Now we can actually do some testing, guys. Okay, there's some breakup. <laughs> I don't know if that has to do with the power setting or just the higher data from 1080p. We'll do some more testing here. Let's bring it back in and then uh, I'm going to increase the power. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go to it's a radio links. Yeah. Let's go to 600 milliwatts. That's going to draw a lot of power. Let's see if that works. Let's go back over here and see if that does any more of the breakup. I still don't trust it, but we can go over here clearly. Let's see if this is any better, man. It was sketch sketch earlier. It's definitely better. We'll have to, oops. Uh, You guys saw me flash this. I came out here straight away just to test it out. We're gonna put another battery on this and then uh, see how well it holds the link. All right, so this one looks good. We're gonna change some settings on this and there. Uh, how you guys doing? How are you? Not bad. Fancy toys, yeah, exactly. Let's the bit rate is actually incorrect. Oh, it's changing. I didn't choose this resolution. Interesting. Let's try that. That should be 1080p right there. I wonder why it didn't keep uh, the 1080p. I think the bit rate is high enough. Seven. Ah, baby steps. The image looks good. Let's see if we can take it off. Is this supposed to be... Eh, not bad. It looks good, I mean... Even at 60 frames per second it feels good. I just see some artifacting, you know? I don't... Tr I don't trust that... Eh, I don't know. I still gotta do some more testing. It's snappy. You can see I'm still staying close. I don't trust. <laughs> I don't trust the drone yet. Especially after my encounters from last week. I do have the adaptive link on. I gotta turn that off. I just wanna see if it can hold Let's change this to a fix one way. We'll try 10. I think that's good. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't want to play that well. Yeah. Eight, that's fine. This is one way 
transmission, no two-way transmission, so we'll see if it's any, I'm sure it's not going to be as good, but hey man. That image looks really nice though. Higher bit rate, this is 8 megabits per second. Arm it. You can hear how image quality is better. Image quality is better, guys. So the higher the bit rate, the better it is. I still feel like it's doing like a DJI kind of thing. Like you see that, like the grass is kind of like, it's doing like that walk snail kind of thing. The image looks good. I mean, I like the high resolution, obviously. I want to see how much you can push this thing, image quality-wise. Looks good. I am liking this. Just got to find a sweet spot. Over here, I usually have interference. It's holding up pretty good with the one-way transmission system. Over here, usually has a lot of interference. That's not bad, guys. I gotta come back when there's less kids in the area, obviously. There's kids everywhere. All right, 1080p guys. Uh, stormers over there coming. Considering everything. All right, let's give it a little shakedown over here. That's where we have most of the issues. Let's see what happens. Not bad, not bad. Awesome, now see, not line of sight. I mean, you're over here. This is good. Guys, over here has historically been interference. Look at this, it's doing better one-way transmission. Let's go over here and do a quick turn. I'm a little skittish over here. But there's people over here too. It's doing okay. It's not bad. So tomorrow, or whenever the storm passes, we're gonna go over there, all the way down there, explore this. I just don't have the confidence of people around here, man. Anyways, uh, one more test. I'll do 720p at 100, uh, I think I could do 100 frames per second with this goggles. All right. 720p All right, 720p and let's see if we can go 90 Let's see how Okay, exposure is adjusted This is supposedly 90 FPS 720p video Let's see how responsive it is. Camera angle has shifted. Yeah, the exposure value has changed. Is it snappy? Yeah, it's snappy. The 
there's some ghosting or trailing on the bottom. I notice. This link should be more secure at 720p. Camera angle sucks. I can't do crap with this. Yeah, I'm liking this one-way link, honestly. This is 720p. Very nice. Sun's coming out a bit. I can, I can, I can deal with this. And this is 720p at one of the higher megabits per second. So this 720p looks arguably as good as the 1080p. Wow. All right. So obviously, guys, this is like my fourth or fifth time coming out here. And this is like my first year of really getting some really good testing. There's some break up there. All right, time to land this puppy. I'm getting better results than my first four or five days of previous days of testing. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's get this thing. Let's unplug this. <laughs> All right, guys, still having some vibration issues here. I'll tweak this camera a little bit when I get home. But this new firmware, guys, the 10.8 is significantly better than the 10.0. Uh, obviously, 10.8 accommodates this new uh, Wi-Fi link too, so it's better accommodated for it. I tried the both extremes. I tried 1080p at a higher bit rate and also 720p at a higher frame rate and that's what I expected from this VRX to handle that amount of data compared to the cell phones. So this is literally after I flashed it with 10.8, it took me a week to be able to do that just because there's no directions. It's not as simply as just plugging the USB into the computer. You need a special bootloader or driver to actually upload it to the actual VRX. But I'm a little bit more satisfied now with the performance and the consistency of the actual VRX and this Wi-Fi Link 2. So I'm gonna do some more testing with this and then maybe in the future I'll flash open IPC to it, both of these, and see how that performs. Apparently that's more efficient, more consistent, and you can get actually better performance with open IPC on your VRX as well as your VTX. But I wanted to test this literally as it came from the factory with that uh, Ruby FPV uh, firmware. And there are some benefits to that, as you can see changing in the field. It's pretty cool. This will require some more days, some more testing. But for initially, for my first impressions, this will be my first impressions in, in my opinion because my actual first impressions was not that positive. Not I was kind of disappointed because I'd fly around here and it would just break up, it would lag, as you saw. And this is significantly better. I'll just have to do the tweaking of the settings, as you saw, with bi-directional uh, transmission. There was some, so I think, I think there was some lower performance in there. With one-way transmission, I got better performance overall. I'll definitely do some more tweaking, check the settings, change the frame rate, see what's best for me. I want to get a better image out of 1080p. I could live with some of the latency, as long as it's not break up. I, I think we're off to a good start here. Unfortunately, it did take me a week and a half or so just to get to this point, which is, it's, it can get frustrating in that week and a half, guys. But uh, tell me what you think, guys. I'm gonna go back to the studio, play with this some more, do some more flight tests, and probably you'll see some more, well, probably, you'll see some more videos of me testing this, obviously with the Ruby FPV, as well as uh, the Open IPC as well, guys. Yeah, let me know what you think down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.